you know, for going to school two hours late. There seems to be very little traffic. I mean, granted, I know kids might have stayed home, but I don't know. But all I can say is, you know, life is a gamble. You can choose to turn it around and come up. Stick to what, you know, the Bible says, and, you know, maybe that's why I had such good karma, you know, it's, it says if you do good things, you know, good things come to you. You know, maybe, maybe that's why I had cops up there, there's the one. Maybe that's why I had such good karma. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a weird feeling to walk down the street and not have 15 cars pull up on you. But, it's 25 there, guy. Not 30, not 40. I asked the kids if they want to get baptized. Two told me no, but I can probably get one to say yes, and I'll probably get rebaptized. Just like it says, you were once in darkness, and now you're in light, and I'd rather be in light than darkness. For everyone who wants to be in darkness, if you want to be in it now, when there's light, and you have the chance to save, it's amazing how, you know, My legs hurt really bad now from having to carry her. But, yeah, I'll, I'll probably get rebaptized. Just so I know that. As long as I continue on my my journey, my path, whatever you want to call it. I continue on it the right way. Those who are
demonically challenged. Or who have accepted greed or whatever. I feel for him. I do. Just because I chose the church. And to learn. Well, that's not my fault. That's what happens when your brain clears completely out. The fog lifts. And you can see again. just know how to read. Now, why would her dogs be barking if there wasn't some kind of movement for them to be barking at? There ain't nobody out here. So if I break lucky, at least I'll be able to get my youngest to be go get baptized along with me. I mean, July, August, September, October, November, December. January. We're coming up on just about eight months of being in church. I mean, what, what am I supposed to stop? No, doesn't work that way. Sorry. So, I'll continue going to church, I mean, I'll continue to ask, but no one will go with me, no one ever does, always seems like it's a solo thing, but that's alright, at least I try. I mean, the Bible does say the last generation, the children will be defiant, so you can't blame me for them not going. Everybody's caught up in their own little world, their own little life. Yeah, I saw you. Out the corner of my eye. 
I got like a wide angle view. I saw something moving. Everybody seems to be caught up in their own personal life. They're too busy for anything else but themselves. The Bible says in the last days people will be lovers of themselves. It's a shame. Well, hopefully people start to read the Bible and, you know, match it up with what's going on in the world today and, you know, start to open their eyes and stop. worrying so much of themselves but you know have compassion and worry about others for a change I don't know maybe it's just me maybe it's my empathy God bless, and may he have mercy. That's all I can say. It says that he sows the wheat with the tares. He lets them all grow and then separates them. So... Have a good day.